I kind of wish you could just go anywhere with this shark. Like, they, they rendered more of the land. Just... Just so you could do really ridiculous things. I don't know. I still want... I. How many of you guys have ever seen or read anything related to Discworld? Because I want the luggage feet, but on a shark. Because that would be amazing. Oh, hi. This is the only way to get here. Gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. That would hurt. Okay. Ooh, albino alligator. Okay. Also known as chump trash. Very edible. What were you expecting, alligator? You were delicious and filled with mutagen. Exactly what I needed. Like, that's that was the land shark that I was kind of hoping for out of this. I knew it wasn't going to happen, but it would be so good. Just go along the ground with a billion tiny little feet. I can't believe I still fit through a lot of these regions. I figured I'd be huge. I am huge. It's certainly nice that I don't have to worry about trash mobs wrecking my face. Because, yeah, just running into two alligators was spooky. That car is still on. That would... dip out after a while. Alright, sup, nerds! Vengeance time! Get out of here, Barracuda. Now, there are a couple of these. I don't think this is going to get me where I want to go. No, this is the other entrance. This probably wants me to go for that gate first, just to get the other one. Damn. Over here and then down? It seems about right. But I wish the nutrient caches were actually like, uh... An insatiable fish. I wish those were the, the ones... Is that was how you got the parts. Because that would be really cool. Because as it stands, it's just like, here's a little bit of resources. And I'm like, this is chump change. I could just go eat an alligator for this. The clever predator shows a well-developed talent for finding food. So it looks like this is in either a different part of the complex or behind another grate. Dang it. Boom. Get out of here. Oh, it's an alligator. This is what you deserve. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. All right, done with this. So all we're missing is... We're just missing one of those license plates, and that's it. The grotto uh, do we find all the oh from the sturm und drang of the gulf so we we found all the uh, license or not the license plates all the landmarks a long time ago yeah i've missed a lot after seeing only the first part recently it was up to uploaded to youtube yeah i tend to get quite a backlog uh, cause I, I tend to record certain games for like five, six, seven hours. 
at a time. It depends on how much I like a game. The more I like it, the longer the backlog is. So there's a very real possibility I'm going to finish this game tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to get like a billion people telling me how to, how to find certain things like the shadow parts that I keep looking for. And it's going to be like, Wander, it's over here. And I'm going to be like, no, it ain't. This one looks very likable. It is. Hey, there it is. Got it. Dead Horse Lake is complete. Let's go back over here. Oh, I'm apparently in combat. Get out of here, Barracuda. See, how many games do you have backlogs for? Uh, currently, Monster Train. Golden Shores was built on an elevated coastal hazard area. And while they don't have any disaster prevention strategy in place, I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see. So currently, the games I have the biggest backlog for are Monster Train, Scrap Mechanic. And, jeez. Got it. That was a long shot. Oh, wow. We really didn't check this area out. Everybody's just like, ah, shark. There we go. Golf ball diving is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to ten cents per ball. Wow. That's a little too real. Whoops. Got it. Golf man. The members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative. Man, completion and compl completionism is mad easy once you max out sonar. I'd say I wish I had done this a long time ago, but I'm glad we waited until I was an elder. Because now it's just easy. Uh-oh. This takes you to the underground cave system, yeah? I'm gonna try that again. It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Hopefully by triggering that load load screen we can reset that, because that was kind of busted. Oh, keep hitting it, it glitches sometimes. Gotcha. Alright. Is Elder Link directly to your level or upgrading parts? Level 20. And beating Scaly Pete. So, it's both. Man, this game gets so peaceful once you get high level. Every other game I ever play, the higher level you are, the further in you go, the more, like, aggressive everything becomes. This game is just like, yeah, no, it's super chill mode. Through that grouper in particular. Oop. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules. But not for long, if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. Alright, what else have we got in here? Some. Or not? Nope, never mind. But I did find us another thing. I think this is just another... 
another entrance to the underground. I'm doing tricks. There we go. Bam. Can you imagine just walking by this and seeing shark a shark doing this? Super I canceled my Completely vacation. Lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Okay, so we got uh, something here. We're almost done with this area already. We... We're lucky this is the last landmark? Nope. Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will eat just about anything. If you see someone in a flamingo boat, you can be fairly certain their blood alcohol level is at least 0.17. Never been on a pedal boat before. I would love to. It seems like it would just be a very pleasant afternoon. I think Shell would appreciate that. Unfortunately, stuff like that is going to have to wait until next year. It sucks a little bit. They never in shark infested waters. Truth. Should be the last two things in here. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. How the... I bet that's from the other path. We keep going to the right, and we've never been to the left. No, that was not a breakable grate. Oh, what? You. I bet we haven't been down this way. Yep. No, we haven't gotten every everything out of here. Well, we got everything out of this zone. At the very least. I think we're still missing one landmark and one license plate from somewhere. I think one thing I am going to do... Lacking a swim bladder, the shark must continue swimming or it will sink. Let's see. Where would it be? Could be right here in the entrance. Could be there. Could be on the way out. Let's keep doing this. Stop, random human. Bye. Oh, there it is. Last landmark. Oh, that's just kind of out of the way. Tigeroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. Daddy, what? Uh, did that give me an upgrade? I actually have no idea. Okay. Have I missed one? No, so that means it's just kind of lurking somewhere. He gave you shadow fins. Ooh. Finally. I apologize that right now I'm just running around pinging at things. I really want to find this last license plate. I bet it's right there, though. It ain't here. At the entrance again. And if it ain't here, we'll just move on to the next area. I don't remember the license plates giving me unlocks. Let's see, are there full set bonuses? 
I haven't been playing this long enough, unfortunately, to unlock a full set of parts. I'm back. Hi. Let's see. Seriously? Where the heck is this last... No, not that one. Because it's just one license plate somewhere. See, I almost have the full bone set. Uh. Oh, there it is. I'm missing bonehead. There we go. Golden Shores is complete. I feel like you should get something cool for completing a region. Well, let's go back. Let's uh, let's see what cool things we've gotten. Beginning but yeah, I haven't gotten any. WZUZ began broadcasting the country variety show Hillbilly Hayloft Hoedown live from Pier One. Okay, so Shadowfin. What does Shadowfin do? Release a poison cloud that puts one poison counter on all creatures within three meters. Creatures suffer speed, damage resistance, and damage output plus 0.2% per, se uh, per second for each counter. Up to 30 counters. Take a look at what it looks like. It looks pretty red. But I'm going to wait, I think. What are the upgrades that I got? Because we've got a couple now. We've got fat digestion, which just gets me more fat and protein. So we've got mutagen minerals. So one for every upgrade type. It's okay. I don't really feel like changing it too much here, though. But yeah, there absolutely are set bonuses. I just don't know if there's a full bonus for getting a full set. A bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Ah, oh, there's something over here. License plate. Mostly looking for locations. That's the only thing that I actually care about. Did I get it? I did get it. And fortunately, for the most part, I've just been finding license plates in this location as opposed to actual landmarks. Pride in boat ownership manifests itself in a variety. Huh. Well, that was ex that was an experience. Brrr, woo. Apparently, sharks do not like having one of those things straight up the butthole. Gmod experience. Hell yeah. So what do we got around here? Another location. There's no such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. Which is pretty much nothing. I don't think I've ever had a frozen banana. But now I want a banana. Excuse me, humans. Taking a shortcut. While homeless and itinerant hobos will work for a living, they are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work. Like my son. We kind of automatically just entered the hobo camp during that that cutscene, and uh, it didn't work the best. Well, it's okay. I got anything else around here? The answer is no. The chocolate bananas, they're good. 
I can imagine, uh, imagine a chocolate banana is good. I think uh, I'm going to put an order for groceries soon. I think I'm going to add bananas to the mix. Bananas and pickles. Not to be consumed simultaneously. I want both. Because I don't eat both very often. They're both really good, like, just kind of easy snacks. Only problem is bananas rot real quick. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. All right, so let's go back to this. I see a couple more places here. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. All right, let's go this way. Pickles with peanut butter. Oh. I found the alien. But when the bananas are going, you make banana bread. I should make more banana bread. Uh, see, I've always been more of a zucchini bread kind of person. Who is abusing me? Wow. That Marlin did not stand a chance. This is a long trek up here. Well, luckily I'm amphibious. Ish. This is probably fatal. There we go. I was kind of hoping there would be something cool up there, but the answer is no. Bit of a letdown. But that's okay. Let's see. Another, another landmark? Landmark. Keep going for these king mackerels. Yeah, I really want a bonehead here, but I don't think we're going to get it. Like most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons. And probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. <laughs> Uh, I always feel sad when I run into somebody that believes the Illuminati is real. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible I mean, I guess, and semi-edible detritus. I think this is kind of a sort of thing. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Gotta keep those American conspiracy theorists going. I mean... I think it's entirely reasonable to expect that there are certain interest group, private interest groups that do try and influence things. But like the Illuminati is some kind of like crazy world spanning thing. Not so much so. An uncle that was super into conspiracy theories. Dude would like scour the Bible daily to try and find secret messages additives, left for him so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors i always felt bad about that because it made him from this it turned him from this like really interesting dude that loved video games and like nerd stuff to just like the guy that would send my dad emails that my dad would just immediately throw in the inbox without even reading or responding to it was sad You're going to be real surprised if you hit 30 and another age up is available. Hey, judging by every time when I age up, it seems like there might be one more level. 
But that might also just be for completing the game. Hey. I'm stuck on the tiki torch. Shadow body. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Alright, so I'm missing two treasure caches. And we got the shadow body. Main question is, is there anything out here? Fire Festival reference. Fire is such a weird concept. That is a really interesting looking region that we pretty much can't do anything with. Where is it? It's over there. There's a stat sheet or a shark fax tracker. Get to know how long you are in wait. That would be interesting. $20 game max. No, nah, I'd, I'd say this thing is solidly like in the, thir the 30 to 40 range. If you want a solid $20 game, go buy Monster Monster Train. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. But no, this, this is definitely not like bargain bin game. 40 seems very fair for what I've been playing. This is... Very solid. It looks pretty nice. They've got great voice actors. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Okay, so we're done with this. I guess next order of business, we're gonna go this way. Why are you out here, human being? Sixty-five dollars worth of voice acting. Okay. I mean, you're welcome to think what you are, but like, this this game is worth the price. At least in countries with reasonable pricing. But like, if you want to get it for 10, you can wait. It'll go on sale. But complaining about life, it now is just kind of silly. And eternal renewal. But mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. Because if every game came out and was 10 bucks, Every game would be cheap indie stuff, and you'd rarely actually have any games that are, like, this deep. And even then, like, this game is... Oh, I mean, no, this this game's not that shallow. But no, if every game was 10 bucks, then it, they'd be loaded with, like, horrid microtransactions and some other stuff. Yeah, it's busted. Alright. I'll come back to that one. Oh, so this higher tier cache is worth a lot more. Of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. That's good to know. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden <laughs> voyage. They even had the two in the front, of course. There we go. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. I'm just gonna run around picking a bunch. We don't have a checkpoint in this area. And so it's not quite the high priority. I was hoping I'd find the checkpoint before we left, but oh well. Forty dollars to Australian is sixty-one, so in Australia it's actually cheaper. Ah. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Save the money and get Terraria. I mean, truly, if we want to talk value propositions, then no game except for Terraria, Minecraft. Factorio Rimworld. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. And it's like Binding of Isaac are worth it. After that, no game is worth spending your money on because you will never get nearly as much of like a time to money investment 
as will those games, and therefore there nothing else is worth playing. surrounding Prosperity Sands were not the public wow. already so numbed about ecological concern. Hunger is a driving force for the bullshit. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. The Gulf Stream is just one of many major currents that mariners have used since time immemorial to circumnavigate the globe. Even the oh, hey. self-driving technology of Gazorpazorp is not without its reliability concerns. <laughs> Gazorpazorp. Of course. It cleared a lot of that place out, but let's let's go back to I'm a cave for you, because I I can I can keep grabbing these things and I'll grab them as I go by. But the actual like collectibles are kind of Greeks just okay. That King Poseidon ruled the waters, whereas here at Prosperity Sands, they're ruled by luxury leisure groups international. Let's see. Games like Daisy have the best. I don't know about Daisy. I guess if you're a specific person that likes Daisy. I can never get into that one. Uh, let's see. How much time from start to end is this one? Uh, really depends on how completionist you are. I would say 15 to 20 hours. Depending on like how much you're goofing and how much time you're wasting. The appetite which, of this shark is nearly insatiable. Which from my perspective, it's fun. I was expecting I'd get more, like, immediate, uh, goof moments out of this, but at this point, n now it's just kind of this fun zen thing for me to play for a while. But I don't feel like it's e eternal. Whenever I play any Ubisoft games, I'm like, oh gosh, it just goes on forever. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. That's not really much of a grotto. Anyway, let's take a look at the shadow body. Shadow form slows the world around you, releasing an aura of poison every time you lunge. Yeah. Let's be full shadow for a little while. Ooh, that increases max speed? I like. Oh, wrong one. Okay, do I have enough? Almost. So I need a little bit more... just meat. I'm just gonna max all of these out. See, I'm not doing bone teeth. Okay, poison cloud, four poison counters in all creatures. Damage over a second. 